One of the best things about owning a Razer RGB device is its limitless customization options. You can have many, many Razer keyboard lighting designs, and if you like to use different ones for different types of games, having to open Synapse and switch designs between games can be quite a hassle. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to automatically change RGB designs when you switch games. Let's get right into it. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to assign specific RGB lighting designs to a specific game. And what you're gonna do from the Razer Synapse dashboard is you're gonna go to the Profiles tab. So click on that. And on the left side, there's a little menu here where it has all of your Razer devices. We're gonna scroll down to the very bottom and we're gonna click on Studio. This is gonna give you a list of all your Razer Chroma profiles that you have currently downloaded in your system. Before we start choosing profiles that we want, we're gonna click on linked games and we're gonna make sure that the games we want are currently on this list. So the three games I'm going to be showing you guys in this tutorial is going to be Apex Legends, Batman Arkham Knight, and Call of Duty Modern Warfare. All right guys, if you don't see your game in Synapse Profiles linked, games if you don't see the game you're trying to link in here for example i have far cry 6 installed on my pc and i don't have it in this list i'm going to show you how to add it the very first thing you can try and do is just hit this refresh button and it may or may not pull in the game that you're trying to get on here if it doesn't we're gonna have to click this plus button and a window is going to pop up and you can check for the game profile or the game files here in this list or you can hit browse when you do this you're going to be looking for the game's executable file okay so the easiest way to find that executable file is to close this first and then navigate to your game so I'm gonna to navigate to Far Cry 6, and I'm just gonna make a desktop icon for it. That's the easiest way to do it. And we're just gonna hit add, we're gonna browse, and we're gonna browse our desktop. And right there is the executable file. We're just gonna click on that and hit open. Once you double check to make sure that all of your games are on this list, we can go back to the devices tab. We're gonna click on Chroma Studio and we're gonna find our design that we want to apply to the Apex Legends game. So I happen to have a Apex Legends Razer Chroma profile here. So I'm just going to click on that profile here and I'm gonna click here in this little window where it says linked games. I'm gonna click on that plus. When this pop-up comes up, we're just gonna scroll down to the game that we want and we're gonna click on link. So now anytime I open Apex Legends, my Apex Razer Chroma profile will take over control of my RGB lighting. When I go to play Batman, I'd like to play my Batman Razer Chroma profile lighting on my keyboard. So I'm just gonna go to that design. I'm gonna click link games. I'm gonna find Batman and I'm gonna hit link. Anytime I wanna play Call of Duty Modern Warfare, I want my Aiden Razer Chroma profile to be playing, so I'm gonna click on that one, click linked games, and I'm gonna go to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So here I have all three of my games attached. All I have to do from here is play the game. So for this example, I'm just gonna go ahead and open up Batman Arkham Knight. So as you can see, as soon as the game starts to load up, the Batman profile will start playing on my keyboard. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it was able to help you guys find Razer Synapse a little bit more enjoyable. For custom Razer Chroma profiles, don't forget to check out my website, unrealhero.com and check out all of my RGB library. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.